Hey, I'm Martha. I'm not in the best of physical shape, but I came to give you a rant and try and keep within time. Here's what confronts us. A racist, sexist, authoritarian, thin-skinned, lying predator, puppet, popinjay, proud prince of the 1%, and his fellow rich parasites and crony capitalists, petty panderer to the fearful, the desperate, and the deluded, scapegoating the powerless and enacting toxic masculinism, he is badgered, bullied, and belittled, deflecting attention from serious questions of policy and governance. These are handed over to ideologues, militarists, corporatists, Goldman Sachs, millionaires and has-beens and never wases, overwhelmingly white and male, those waiting in the wings to resume their rapacious war against the commons and the very idea of civil society. They want to seize our cities, dispossess us, and keep poor people of color demonized, criminalized, and locked up or deported. They've spent decades practicing the seizure of public goods and the destruction of even the idea of community. They've built grassroots organizations on the basis of ruralism, resentment, racism, and rage. They've bought and paid for academics and set up think tanks and secretive institutes to prepare reactionary legislative agendas, voter suppression tactics, racist mythologies, anti-woman and anti-LGBTQI rules, and science denialism. This death state and its scandalous, chaotic figurehead need to be broadly repudiated. Our people are in the streets denouncing the racism, sexism, and double-barreled anti-Semitism targeting both Muslims and Jews, inflated by Trump and his vile, flamboyant bully boys. But we need an organized movement to continue agitating for lasting political change. A movement needs dreams and strategies, as well as actions and reason. A movement needs a horizon. Let me speak up for socialism and democracy, anti-racist and with justice, access, and ownership for all. Occupy and its sister movements showed how technology allows us to construct communicative networks, but also that people's struggles are grounded in face-to-face -face communities we form, and they are finally based in seizing territory, in our minds, our conversations, our commitments, in the real world, and, ima and imagine communities online. Sorry, I'm not crying. <laughs> Just a little thunderstruck. by an orange comet. <laughs> Let's join up with activist grassroots and union efforts to organize the unorganized and raise ourselves up together. If you're not a person of color, stand with people of color or stand down. Keith Ellison just said, I'm gonna tell you something about politicians. They see the light when they feel the heat. Making them feel the heat means putting our feet in the streets and showing up, showing up, showing up, Let's exercise the art of showing up, make art, make poetry, make music, make loud noises, hold robust encounters, meetings, parties, dinners, and ruckuses. Let's go parading and running through the streets, well, not me, and occupy the commons over and over and over with street pageants, dancing, singing, chanting, snappy slogans, beautiful banners, bat signals, and light brigades. Disruptions of traffic and disruptions of the powerful, alongside readings and solidarity events, videos, performances, and plays. We got this, we know how to do it. Intransigence is the key. Never normalize the nightmare. Protest, resist, and organize. I say no to domination and destruction. I say yes to resistance and art. Today, at least, this place is ours. Thank you.